The Bantu Somalis and breed Somalis have distinctions in the male genitalia and testicles. This distinction is important because male genitalia carry a lot of ethnic origin significance. This distinction shows that Bantu Somalis males have large penises and powerful testes, whereas breed Somalis males have small penises and weak testes. That indicates the Bantu Somalis males have superior testosterone hormones to the breed Somalis. It means that their male body processes, such as hair growth, voice deepening during puberty, and muscle and bone mass development, are all regulated by testosterone and are also better than those of the breed Somalis males. Again, since the role of the testes is to produce sperm, it is notable that the Bantu Somalis with strong testes can make more sperm than the breed Somalis with weak tests. As a result of the weak testes, the breed Somalis males may have several problems, such as trouble starting a family, trouble keeping healthy relationships going, and low self-esteem. The weak male testicles can't last longer or satisfy their wives during sex, so there are more divorces in the breed Somalis community. Many breed Somali females are complaining with their breed Somali males. According to them, Somali men are too emotional and cannot satisfy them in bed and that when they marry other men, Somali men start harassing them in public. On the other hand, Bantu Somalis' male fertility can reproduce without medical assistance because they have large genitalia and strong testicles are more likely to be stable and long-lasting. Thus, the Bantu Somalis' men with big and strong penis have higher male fertility, which is critical for forming and maintaining strong, healthy family relationships. To compete with Bantu Somalis' men, breed Somalis' men recently began using Viagra. However, Viagra is a drug with side effects such as exposing men to a greater risk of losing feelings of sexual urge and may be unable to erect. Further, a lot of the children who are born by men who use Viagra drugs during sex have abnormalities such as autism. In that case, the difference in the size of the male genitalia in the two groups makes the differences in their male characteristics and level of fertility. Additionally, a lot of Somali men are feminine. And I'm not dissing any all Somali men, but I do find a lot of Somali men to be extremely, like, they're very effeminate. They have a lot of feminine characteristics. Um, I was just watching uh, Fredosa Jim's life video the other day. She t talks in Somali though, but she was talking about, she said something like, It means you can't, they don't want to F you and you can't F other people around them. It's like they cut block you. You know what I mean? <laughs> 